Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, y'all. Got another video for you. Listen, want to uh, say thank you so much to all of our new subscribers and new followers, of course, and to my tribe and family at large. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Of course, y'all know every time we dro uh, I drop a video, I like to always mention our Thursday night live streams. Yes, indeed. Okay. Thursday night live streams. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. I said you don't want to miss it. Thursday night live streams are off the chain, y'all. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I want to see you there. Jump in the chat. Invite a few folks, okay? All right, y'all know uh, every time we drop a video, that's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're live right here on the channel. Every time we drop a video, goal of the day is 2.1K. Every time, listen, if you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button. Let me know you rocks with me. Okay? All right, y'all. I'm going to do, let's jump into the topic of this video. I, I had to get another one out because I really was thinking about this and I wanted to put it out there. Yes, I said it. You are the best and the worst thing that ever happened to the narcissist, okay? I'm going to explain that to you all because I know y'all are probably wondering, what is T talking about? Talk about the best and the worst thing that ever happened to the narcissist. Yes, indeed you are. Listen, whenever the narcissist is searching for supply, grade A supply is a necessity, okay, for the narcissist. It truly is. Grade A supply is a necessity, so when we're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with toxic people, toxic people tend to want to uh, parentify a person. You understand what I'm saying? They they tend to want to uh, force a person to step into, especially in a relationship, they want to pour, uh, force the more stable, um, kind, empathic, if you will, person into um, a parental role in their lives. Why? For one they don't most of the time they don't have the capacity to do it and then two they need someone to basically care for them that's how you know that you're dealing you know with a toxic person this person may not necessarily be a narcissist sometimes it could just be a toxic codependent but a lot of times they want to parentify the other person in the relationship because they're toxic you know they're needy they're codependent and narcissists we know are all of that the reason I say that you are the best and the worst uh, thing that could ever happen, person that could ever happen to the narcissist, is this. Listen, narcissists do not forget anything, okay? They are very intentional about the things they do. They are very intentional about the supply that they choose. You being, you were an intentional choice for the narcissist. When you came into the addiction ship, the narcissist noticed everything about what you brought to the table. They and and if you will sit back and really real, you know, really think back on it. The narcissist the narcissist in the beginning talked about how you cared for them, how you did things in such excellence. Um, how you always make sure that their clothes are just like this or you know the way you prepare their meal now in the beginning the way you prepare their meals I mean you were just on target I mean the food was just off the chain bomb okay in the beginning how you plan the trips and the vacations you never forgot a detail um, how, you know, when you all went to go out to buy different things, how you did your research, oh, you the bomb, you always, you know, they brag into their family members, oh, she always makes sure that everything is, you know, she does her research, check it out, you know, all of that, because you are all that. Yes, hit that like button. I'm telling you, you are all that. But this is, the, I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Just, just, just walk with me. You, you know, whenever it was time for the bills to be paid, you always made sure the things were laid out. You understand what I'm saying? The budget was set. Everything was everything. This is what they experienced. You know, these are the things that they experienced. You exposed them to a life and a, a level of comfortability and peace that they had never known. 
And that's why you heard the family talking the way that they did. Oh, I tell you, I've just never seen the narcissist, whether it was a male or female, because this is interchangeable. You know, those of you men out there that have dealt with the female narcissist, those of us ladies out here that have dealt with the male narcissist, the family said to you, they have never seen the narcissist this happy. They had, they hope that everything works out wonderfully. They know it's not. They know it's not, but they want, they want, they're just hoping by chance that the narcissist has changed and this thing is going to really work out between the two of you. I mean, the family was even singing your praises in the beginning. All of this is in the beginning. The family singing your praises. I mean, you are the best thing walking and talking since sliced bread in the narcissist's eyes, you know, and really you are, you know, because of the level of excellence the level of maturity you brought to the situation, the way they told you, you know, you keep, you, you save their lives. Mm -hmm. Hit that like button. I need y'all cause we going somewhere. We, we I'm, I'm getting ready to walk down this road with you. You, I mean, without you, they don't know what they would have done all in the beginning. Now here's what you have to remember. Now we're getting ready to switch and transition. Here's what you have to remember. The narcissist is never going to remember you as the person that they left. Remember, now I told you all to remember the narcissist as the person you left. Don't, don't remember the narcissist as the person that you, don't, don't remember them as the person you met. Remember them by the person you left because that was the real them. Now, in your case, because you were the best and the worst thing that ever happened to the narcissist, the narcissist, the reason you were the worst thing that could ever happen to them is that the, ooh, I'm getting ready to drop it on you. The narcissist will never remember you as the person they left. They're always going to remember you as the person they met. I don't care what they tell the flying monkeys. I don't care what they tell the other folks around. I don't care what they tell the children. I don't care what the reason. And I'm, I'm giving you some revelation. Hit that like button, please. The reason that they keep trying to hoover you. The reason why they try to do all kinds of crazy things. Tell you, hoover you by telling you somebody's uh, passed away. And a lot of times they lie about that. Um, sometimes they don't, but a lot of times they will. Hoover you by telling you something has happened to one of the family members. Somebody's sick. Uh, I mean, they do all kinds of ridiculous things to try to hoover you back. You know why? You know why? Because the narcissist doesn't remember you as the broken down person that they left. They don't remember you like that. The narcissist will always remember the person that they met. The person that they met. This is, this right here is mental torment for them. Oh, it's mental torment. Hear me when I say, and y'all be sitting up there saying, I want to know when the narcissist going to get theirs. Why are they over there with the new supply looking like they're having such a good time? Honey, let me tell you something. These backwards walking giraffes, rhinos with bows, ducks with combat boots. I said it. Oh, I said, I said it. Okay, these clowns are never having a good time. How in the world can you be having a good time? Listen, how can you be having a good time when you're sitting up thinking about all of the horrible things that you did to the person that you knew was the best person that, that ever happened to you? The narcissist know, because don't forget, they are still human. They are still human. How do I know this? Psych, psych, uh, psychologist, uh, psychology professionals will tell you the same thing. Told you. I had an interview with a with a with a, a person that works in this field that dealt with inmates. <laughs> Nars. I mean, talking about diagnosed ones in behind prison walls. They still fantasize about the supply. The, their 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 supplies. They still fantasize about them. You. The memories of you will torment the narcissist forever. Forever. If you want to know why they hate you so much, that's one of the reasons why. 
It, and this was what I told the narcissist in the very serious relationship that I was in. I told him, I said, listen, this, and this is from the gate. Don't try me. Okay. Don't try me. And don't ever think that you're going to abuse or misuse. I, that's the thing that I just want to make sure. Let me get that out on the table. Because what I said to him is this. I said, it will be better for you to have never known me than to know me, to know what it's like to be in a loving relationship with, with, with me and then turn around and destroy it and not have me in your life. Listen, it would just be better for you to have never known me because the memories of me will torment you for the rest of your life. Not because I'm a horrible person, but because you made the most horrible mistake by choosing to abuse someone that was actually pulling for you and they're in your corner. Because I can promise you, I will not stay around for the abuse. Once I find out that you're that type of person, I'm just letting you know, don't try it. And guess what? That bird came to know and came to understand that what I said was the absolute truth. Listen, you have to understand that a narcissist is powered by demonic entity, by demonic energy. They are. But one thing about those demons is that it the memory works both ways. The, me, the, the memory, remembering how good you were, but it also, that demon torments them every day because they let you get away. Remember, the whole mission and goal was for the narcissist to level you, to flatline you, to, to basically destroy the essence of who you are. Once, they, once you are out of the narcissist's life, they don't, that the torment never stops. That's why they're trying so desperately to get back to you so, th so they can relieve themselves of some of that negative narrative that is happening in their mind. These Chinese crestits are tormented constantly. That's why they can't sleep at night. That's why they can't sleep. All those different demons up in there fighting for position. Trying to see which one is going to take over right now. This one right here says stay up. This demon said go to sleep. This one right here said uh, you just take a cat nap. This one said you need to get up and act a fool and jump up on whatever you need to do. You just need to be acting a fool right now because I'm not ready to go to sleep. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's why you see them up there acting a fool. They, mm, that's how they go to sleep. And next thing you know, they back up. They pop up like in 15 seconds, they back up. Because they, they got too many voices going on in their head. You don't think that's torment? Once they go to sleep, once they act a fool, once they uh, uh, stay up all night, once they <laughs> spin around like Michael Jack. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They are always, this is what, this is, this is the chaos and confusion in the mind of the Nars I'm playing. But they really have flooding thoughts like that. They really do because they're tormented mentally. Anytime you have a person that is under a strong demonic oppression or possession, their minds are very unstable, very unstable. Just like the Bible says, a double minded man is unstable in all of their ways. That's what you witness with a narcissist. That's why they're so unstable because they got too many people talking in, in their heads. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why a lot of times you see them looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? You catch them looking off into the distance and you're like, what is going on? Why is that look on their faces? But this is why you need to understand you were the best and the worst thing that ever happened to them. The best and the worst thing. Because the narcissist will always remember you for the person that you, they, they uh, met. Okay, they will always remember you for that person. Now, because they have to move on, they don't forget. And they don't, they don't, they don't, it's not the fact that they forget you and they never want to come back. It's just the fact that uh, hopefully you never let them come back. You understand what I'm saying? They always are going to remember you for the, now, what, the lies that they tell in the smear campaign is because they're trying to save face. Because they have to say something. They got to get out in front to to try uh, to, uh, I mean, they're just basically, you know, doing damage control. They got to do this. They do it to everybody. It's part of the, you know, it's part of the, the abuse. 
you know, the cycle. They have to do this. But they're going to always remember you for the person that you met, that they met. And you need to always remember them for the person that you left because that's who they really were. The person they met with you is who you really were. The destroyed, de- uh, distraught, devastated, depressed, oppressed person that they left. That's not really you. That wasn't really you. The person that they met is who you really were. So this is what you need to understand about the narcissist. And that's why you, the beautiful, outstanding person that you are, they'll never forget that. That's why you became the best and the worst thing that the narcissist could have ever had experienced. All right, family, y'all hit that like button. I wanted to get this out here because it was on my mind. I said, I got to get another video in here because this is heavy on my mind. And I want you all to understand how beautiful you are and how much power you hold in just remaining true to who you are and being very discerning about the people that you allow into your lives. Because you are somebody to be admired. You are someone to be treasured. You understand what I'm saying? Trash can never treasure you. Remember that. Trash can never treasure you. Did you hear what I said? Let me say it again. Trash can never treasure you. I said it. Hit that like button. You heard it right here. I love you, family. God bless you. Do something really nice for yourselves, okay? And I will see you all on the next video. And I'll see you all healed at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.